Hey, Roland. What's the matter? How was school today? You look a little down. Didn't you have a Valentine's Day party? Yeah, but whenever I gave anyone my Valentine's, they just screamed and dropped it. Hey, Audrey, here's a Valentine's card for you. Ah, a real heart! They screamed and dropped it when you gave people their va your Valentine's? Huh. What type of Valentine did you give them? One just like that. Just like, did you make, put a heart inside like Mom told you? Yep. Huh. Happy Valentine's Day. From Roll. Oh, I think I might see the problem here. You put a really cool heart in there. Not a Valentine's Day heart. You put a real heart in your Valentine's. But you know what? Hearts are really awesome and they're really important. I would love a Valentine's like this. You know what? Let's talk about the heart and how important it is. So, you see, the heart is a very important organ. An organ is a group of tissues that does a certain job in your body. And the heart is very important. It's part of what we call the circulatory system. And it pumps blood. It pumps blood all throughout your body. And blood is very important. It uses its four chambers to pump blood to your lungs and then to pick up oxygen and all throughout your body. Let's talk a little bit about what exactly your blood does and why it's so important that we have blood running through our body in our circulatory system. You see, the blood is made up of different types of cells. First, we have red blood cells. Okay, like we said, the blood is very important and the heart pumps it through our body. Let's pretend that mom is a cell in the body and all the cells of the body need to be visited by the blood cells, the red blood cells. So, red blood cells, do your job. Boom, 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 boom. They're pumped through the body by the heart. And their job is to deliver oxygen to each cell and nutrients to each cell. And they also pick up the trash that the cells have left behind, which we call waste, to get rid of it. So, that's the job of the red blood cells. Good job, red blood cells. Next up, we have the white blood cells. The white blood cells have a very important job. When a virus or something gets into your body, it's the white blood cells job to fight them off. They're like your soldiers. Oh no, here comes a virus, white blood cells. Oh, protect that cell. All right. Next up, we have the platelets. The platelets are funky shaped cells. They're a little goofy shape. And that's because their job is if we get a cut, look at this, oh no, mom got a cut. The platelets rush to the opening and stop the blood from escaping. Come on, platelet, do your job. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ah, all better. The platelets stop us from bleeding. And sometimes we help them out with band-aids. And without the heart, these things couldn't get to every single cell of your body to give you the things they need. So that's why your heart is so important. And I think those were awesome Valentines. I have an idea. Let's take a virtual reality trip through the heart. Yeah. Let's go look at the blood pumping through your heart. Open your mouth. Huh? Camera lady of science. Okay. We're going to take a quick trip through the heart in virtual reality. Here we are, some blood vessels going through the different chambers of the heart. Remember, there's four chambers of the heart. Two upper chambers, known as the left and right atrium, and two lower chamber, chambers called the left and right ventricle. And there's also four valves. Here's one of the valves opening and closing. These four valves are called the tricuspid valve, the pulmonary valve, the mitral valve, and the aortic valve. Pretty cool. Here we go through another valve. So 
few times when some of those valves get leaky they can't let blood go in two directions only one direction they have to be repaired sometimes they repair them with pig valves a valve from a pig heart That's pretty cool all right bye -bye. gang we'll see you later bye see ya have a nice week Let's open our eyes to the world that's around us Science has the answers to the questions that have found us Malia Science Science